Acne scarring is a common problem in the world of cosmetic surgery. There are many different treatments that you can seek to remove these scars, depending on how bad yours are as well as how your doctor thinks they can best be treated. Knowing your treatment options ahead of time can help you to make a better decision about what will work to remove your scarring. Acne scar removal can be done in many ways. Laser therapies, injections of cosmetic fillers, and dermabrasion and other skin treatments are all common practice for the removal of acne scars. Depending on the type of scars that you have and the extent of the damage, you will be able to consider a few different treatments to remove your scars. Taking the time to talk to your doctor about your condition and the available treatments will make the process much easier for you because you won't be doing it on your own. Knowing that there are options, for some people, is enough to make them seek out treatment that will get rid of the unsightly marks. If your acne scar problem is minimal, facial treatments and chemical peels might be your best option for treatment. However, if you have a bigger problem or more severe scarring, your dermatologist might recommend laser treatments or injection fillers for depressed scars. Injection treatments are simple procedures and can be used for a temporary solution. Facial peels, chemical treatments, and laser therapy all produce a more lasting result, and some treatments can remove acne scars completely. When over-the-counter remedies are not enough, you should seek a permanent solution that suits your needs. Dermabrasion is a mild cosmetic procedure that helps remove facial blemishes such as severe acne, scarring, and other irregularities that deflect from the overall aesthetics of the face. Sometimes confused with microdermabrasion, a similar but less intensive treatment, dermabrasion is usually performed by a plastic surgeon and requires anesthesia to put the patient to sleep or under partial consciousness. A dermabrader is used to remove the top layers of damaged skin, allowing the smooth, unblemished layers to rise to the surface. The process can be performed in a variety of ways, and generally takes between 30 minutes and an hour. Sometimes plastic surgeons choose to use the traditional wand device that has an abrasive rotating disc attached at one end or a dermatome, which has a blade that gradually peels away the layers of skin. Today, it is more common for different lasers to be used in order to achieve safer, even, and more effective results. Many people find this method uncomfortable and painful, but often not unbearable. Immediately following the procedure, treated areas will be discolored, tender, and sore. Your face may feel strange and normal activities such as talking or washing may cause aches. Swelling and pain subsides with a few days after the process, but a protective scab will begin to develop. It is important to allow the scab to grow and eventually fall off in its own time to prevent potential scarring on the new skin that lies beneath. A topical treatment that can soothe any itch or surface pain is often prescribed after the procedure. Although a very safe way, it has some risks and potential complications that may occur. Many of these complications are minor and heal themselves within a few days or weeks. Problems such as increased sensitivity to sun, temporary discoloration or blotchiness, and whiteheads will generally disappear with proper care and patience. More serious but rare risks include permanent pigmentation discoloration, scarring, and infection. If you are prone to keloid scarring you will want to carefully consider undergoing this process and discuss possibilities with your plastic surgeon. Report any abnormalities to a plastic surgeon immediately to avoid long-term damage. This is well suited for those with deep acne scars that are resistant to topical treatments. Not only will dermabrasion help smooth the skin's surface, but it can help eliminate, or at the very least, greatly diminish the appearance of flat scars, even those that are in deep layers. Pit-like scars may require additional treatments or a combination of procedures in order to effectively smooth them away. It is recommended that those seeking acne scar treatment wait until any breakouts have largely cleared in order to achieve maximum results. Although dermabrasion is popular for those seeking acne scar treatment, the process can also help address other facial scarring, such as from a previous facial procedure or from an accident, as well as fine lines and wrinkles. This will not only result in healthier, fresher-looking skin, but can give you back your confidence as well. The chickenpox is a virus that usually takes place in the course of when we are children, however, many adults can experience it too. The largest symptom of the virus is the blisters and also rash that cover the entire body. As a result of these blisters and rashes scabbing over, it can result in chicken pox scars. 
Some individuals have scars from blisters and from having the virus early in years as a child, other people from encountering it as a grown-up. In this short article, I'm going to talk about a few tips about how to remove chicken pox scars. Below are listed several treatment options you can use to apply that are proven and effective to work. Here they are. Vitamin E oil, apply vitamin E oil on the skin or area where there is a scar or even mark. It is well known due to the healing properties and definitely will help make any kind of scars diminish. Consume vitamin K, simply by consuming foods with vitamin K, or even a multivitamin or even supplement, it can be known to assist in preventing scars and is also good for the skin and then for making scars gradually disappear soon enough. Lemon, cut an organic lemon in half and delicately brush it on the area in which the varicella virus blisters scar or mark remains. Drink water, ensure that you're well hydrated and consuming lots of water. This will help flush out toxins from your body and may have a good effect in getting rid of chicken pox scars. Honey, use organic honey around the scars and then leave it around the area for at least an hour or so. Vinegar, apply and run a small amount of vinegar to any area with scars, you can use a sponge to make it easier, or a cloth. You can also use a bit of vinegar in a bath 2 tablespoons, which will help moisturize the skin. When searching for methods of preventing scaring you will come across many different opinions. Most of these are myths and legends, for the most part they are untested. Making it very difficult to ensure you are following the proper procedure. If you apply the inappropriate procedure to use scar tissue you can greatly increase the healing time and make the scar appear worse. This is easily avoidable if you know what you are doing and choose the correct procedure. For the most part you will be able to stop scaring completely. Below you will find some simple tips to help you reduce scaring on damaged areas. 1. Use a limited amount of hydrogen peroxide. Only clean the damaged area with alcohol or hydrogen peroxide one time. No more. If you apply hydrogen peroxide too many times you will damage the newly forming skin cells. From observation the bubble may make you think you are doing goo to the skin, when in actuality you are killing the new skin. The longer the healing time the worse the scar will be in the end. Only clean the wound once with alcohol or hydrogen peroxide and then apply an antibacterial cream. A cream such as Neosporin will moisten the wound and clean the area creating the perfect environment for healing. 2. We are always told it is good to let the injury breathe, this is wrong. You want to cover the open wound. It should not be left open. When it is initially healing you want the wound to be layered in as much antibacterial cream as possible. This will help create the perfect healing environment, clean, moist and protected this is similar to a scab, however scabs are meant to achieve this as face as possible, and not worry about any scarring. Scab creates a great deal of scarring. They are inaccurate, they are get the job done fast and dirty. It is best to create your own barrier with antibiotic cream and a band-aid. 3. New tissue is very sensitive to sunlight. Thus it is best to cover them in sunblock if you are going outside. If you expose the area to too much sun it will get become dark scarred tissue. If the scar gets burned by the sun it will get red. This will also lead to it becoming hyperpigmented making the scar much more visible. Burns can be produced by a number of different situations that include being exposed to chemicals, electrical currents, and intense heat or radiation. The level of severity will depend on the extent of the burned area and its depth. Moderate burns will usually leave heavy scarring while severe burns can go as far as being life-threatening. In fact, some of the scars left by burns can directly affect a person's quality of life. Burns caused by fire can cause constrictive scars that require surgery and grafting. While on the other hand, minor burns may not even leave noticeable scars. Treatment options for minor burn scars. Burn scars treatment for minor injuries is a quite straightforward type of treatment. In this case, someone has probably suffered a first-degree burn which needs to be cooled down immediately to keep the surrounding tissue from suffering damage. You can cool down the burned area by applying cool or lukewarm running water. Cold water is too shocking for the skin and can cause more damage than the actual burn. Hot water is, obviously, not advisable because it can continue the burning process. 
If the burn has been cooled down the person should take a mild painkiller and rest. After the pain and burning sensation have diminished, you can begin treating the affected area. Treat the wound by using gentle products so that you do not further irritate the wound. Make sure that you use a good moisturizing product to treat the burn. This is necessary because a burn will cause the moisture in your skin to evaporate while drying out the skin for a certain period of time. An excellent choice, in cases such as this, is rose hip seed oil which will absorb quickly and help soothe the skin. Natural products that are made with special natural ingredients, such as snail serum, also have a soothing effect and help boost the rate of skin growth. After a few weeks of using these products, you'll notice a great improvement in your skin. It is common for the damaged area to be slightly darker than the surrounding tissue. With time, this problem will resolve itself, but you can also try microdermabrasion for burn scars. Go to the link in description for diminish the look of scars solutions. Don't forget to subscribe.